nights, I cried myself to sleep, just hoping and praying that you don't overdose. I got high because I wanted to. It's not the first time I've ever done You'll never understand how much you have truly hurt us. I am sorry for some of the actions that I made, but I do feel like sometimes the girls hold my past. They just think that I'm supposed to be this perfect person and I'm not. Honey Boo Boo was exploited by her family and the TLC network. They funded mentally ill Mama June's addiction and continued to enable toxicity in this family. Honey Boo Boo may have been a famous reality television star, but she lost her family along the way. And now it looks like she's going down the same dark path as her mother. So let's get into it. TLC is one of those networks that I can't understand because they continue to put out problematic content with really mentally ill people, and we're all just watching them struggle as we enjoy television. I mean, you guys may remember one of their latest controversies involved MILF Manners, which was about mothers dating sons, and it's all just so gross. But today, I want to take it back to an original show about Honey Boo Boo and Mama June, because Honey Boo Boo is all grown up now, and she's gone through a lot because of her toxic mother. Elena Honey Boo Boo Thompson and her family have been household names since 2012. The reality star first appeared on screen at just six years old, rising to fame along with her mom. They started on a show called Toddlers and Tierras until they got their own spinoff about their entire family. That did you, this is a uh, caffeine drink and an energy drink. Is that what it tastes like? It tastes like apple juice. Yummy, yummy to my tummy. Okay, that's enough. That's enough. <laughs> no. Uh-uh. Uh Your tummy. You never know what's gonna go out of our mouth, I'm sorry. We've talked about family channels before on my channel and how problematic they are because you're putting these children in front of the world and they don't even know who they are. And I feel like Honey Boo Boo is like a, you know, a family channel YouTube child star who's on a whole other level because it was national television and her entire life has pretty much been on screen. Because we've watched this family develop, we've also seen a lot of issues and Mama June has had issues with for a very long time. I always see Honey Boo Boo popping up on TikTok Live because they're begging for money along with her mother because they have taken the money that TLC paid them, which wasn't much, and they spent it all on June says that this was the biggest, stupidest thing that she's ever done to spend that much money on but she claims her relationship with this guy named Gino, who was very problematic, was the reason why she really fell in the hole and they were arrested back in March 2019. If you ever see Mama June on TikTok Live, which I don't know why these two constantly pop up on my live, that's kind of why I wanted to talk about them, but Mama June is always looking really closely at the screen, and now I know why. She was quoted saying that she snorted so much until it damaged her vision and she switched to smoking Mama June claims to have spent up to $3,000 a day on during her addiction. She says, I think about a lot of things I could have done with that money. My husband tells me all the time that I can't dwell on it. It started out as a gram of cocaine to three ounces a day. I couldn't film, I couldn't function, I couldn't do anything. The house I told my daughter that would always be hers, I sold her $100,000. I am sorry for some of the actions that I made, but I do feel like sometimes the girls hold my past and what I've done and what, what I may be still doing in a way. They just think that I'm supposed to be this perfect person and I'm not. Shame on TLC for feeding this woman money and continuing her addiction and enabling her and, you know, filming it kind of along the way. And imagine how her children feel watching their mother just destroy herself in front of the world. I'm glad that she's doing better now and she claims that she's gone back to penny pinching and she's a money hoarder. But nonetheless, the damage has been done. We've had to watch Alana, Honey Boo Boo, grow up very quickly. And there are so many sad moments out there that I've seen where like she's trying to, you know, 
she wants her mother to hear her. And I understand addiction is tough. I mean, unless you've been there, you cannot relate. And I personally cannot relate. But it is so hard to watch this young girl struggle for her mother to hear her out. Because Mama June checked out as a mother, Honey Boo Boo had to go under the care of her sister, who's called Pumpkin on TV and in the show. And now that Honey Boo Boo is growing up, she's starting to realize that her mother was completely absent. I mean, she started on television at six. They started getting money but you know her first marriage fell apart and then ultimately she's gone downhill and during crucial times in Alana's development and you know probably coping with what has happened in the media and having her entire life put online she probably felt so alone trying to figure out what to do with herself and her identity you don't know how many nights I cried myself to sleep just hoping and praying that you don't overdose I can't give Alana her mom it's like I'm drowning. I would like Alana to go with me to go see old Shuggy. This could be a disaster. Mama, what the f Honestly, shame on TLC for even setting this up. Like, uh, the, it's just so like gross and sad to see like all of this go down on television. And probably part of it is just because it's going on television. Like, does Mama June seem like she actually wants help there? Not necessarily, but she probably wants the money for doing this little interview thing that they'll put on TV. One of the daughters were quoted saying, you don't know how many nights I cried myself to sleep just hoping and praying that you didn't overdose. God, please don't let my mom die. Please just hold on to her just please i just wanted you there even if i texted your phone i wouldn't get a text back so hell i never knew if you were alive or dead anyways we was dead and broke we was doing quite a bit i mean it was a couple ounces a day twenty five hundred dollars a day if not more it's not the first time i've ever done and you know that mama june has been quoted saying i was around my whole life admitting that she used on and off until 2015 and started doing two years later. Quote, addiction does run in my family. And I promise you for the last couple months, we have been, I would say, 90% good. If this was four or five months ago, I would have been high as when I came up in here. Literally, there's a spinoff show titled Mama June Family Crisis really so she was getting married i guess in this season and of course her children were upset about it because the guy is terrible pumpkin was quoted saying that you can't even show up for your own effing kids and you're worried about a wedding and they have every right to not want to support their mother especially when she's out here spending all this money and doing who support. pumpkin was granted full custody of honey boo boo and the agreement does allow her mom to contact her but they aren't supposed to see each other you're it is so uncomfortable to see these clips because they're so raw and real and so many of these things need to be said. But I mean, having the world's opinion involved, it definitely does not help. And honestly, Mama June seems so disconnected from reality that she doesn't understand the impact. I mean, Pumpkin is such a savior in this situation for taking care of her own children, for taking in Honey Boo Boo, and still sitting there and checking her mother and telling her why she's wrong. But unfortunately, Pumpkin can't fix it all, and Honey Boo Boo has had to confront her as well. And seeing these moments through TLC just like, I mean, at least hire some type of therapist or mediator to be there because these moments are not appropriate and clearly everyone's very mentally ill. And what's sad about Honey Boo Boo's situation is that she was kind of forced into the media as a child star. She couldn't consent to it. And you know, her father, Sugar Bear was his name in the show. He was there along for the ride until he didn't want to be. And he kind of checked out as a father. And she's had moments too where she's confronted her dad on TV and we've seen it all and it's just so hard to see this young like you know essentially like reality television child star struggling to have any normal family dynamic and it seems like they just kind of put her out there made all that money and then just ran off and did whatever they want to with their lives but i can never make them for myself and if i want a little pumpkin i can <laughs> I appreciate you wanting to be in my life, Sugar Bear. I really do. But we should just know that I want to sell pumpkin, and that's the end of the conversation. But I know he's texting me only if we go to court, so it looks good. Sugar Bear does not want to be in my life. No, I can tell you that right now, Jennifer. Never Sugar Bear doesn't to... want me because I'm not a boy. He told me that. He's told me and my mother that before. Oh, no, don't, don't, no, don't give her your man oh, that. You can't you. That's why I have custody. No, that's you why you I have temporary custody. All we got to do is take your ass to court and get shut up. 
The amount of rejection that she must feel is just so unfortunate that no one should go through that, especially to have constant reminders floating around on the internet. Mama June didn't really put up a fight for custody like Sugar Bear did because she wanted to check out, probably because she pushed her problems just off the pumpkin and wanted to go and get Mama June didn't put up a fight when it came to giving up Honey Boo Boo, but she also didn't follow her side of the agreement because there was supposed to be some child support coming in. And of course, Mama June wasn't paying up anything because she was supplying herself with so like I mentioned, Honey Boo Boo has gone through a lot and she's had to grow up quickly, but something that caught my eye was one of her relationships. Now I read in some parts that she started talking to this 21 year old when she was 16. I mean, this article claims that she was 17 at the time, but people were really upset over their relationship. Actually, it looks like she started dating him when she was 15 because they said that they've been dating for over two years and she's 17 at this point. And of course, Mama June is approving this because she's mentally somewhere else. But what like 19, 20 year old is interested in a 15 year old? I mean, that is gross. Mama June was quoted saying he's older than her. But honestly, for me, Draylen, the boyfriend, has a very young mentality. He has a very teenage mentality, if that makes sense, which huh, for a 21 year old man, I don't know if that's the greatest thing to say. Like, oh, yeah, he has a young mentality. So go with my young daughter. They're talking about you. Hello? I mean, I'm not finna check my phone every five seconds, Josh. We're on a date. Whatever. You need to go. Yeah, before Josh starts acting crazy again. After Honey Boo Boo, Alana has gone through so much. I would love to see her happy and in a healthy relationship, but I don't love the fact that this guy has also found himself in trouble. I mean, he got a DUI and she was in the car with him and he was chased by police. What? So her boyfriend, who's like this younger mentality, well, he's over here drinking and driving with her and running from police. They actually went on a three mile chase. He also had some weed on him at the time, which, you know, in California wouldn't be a big deal. And it looks like Draylen and Honey Boo Boo were also with his friend named Julian, who was arrested for outstanding warrants. So this is the crowd that she's rolling with. And I'm worried that she's going down the same road as her mother. And it also looks like when police checked out the car, the car wasn't even Draylen. It wasn't even his. He didn't own it. So there's a lot of problems here. Honey Boo Boo's boyfriend, Draylen Carswell, was arrested for a DUI and fleeing the cops with the 17-year-old reality star in his passenger seat. According to the local paper, The Reporter, Elena's boyfriend was driving the Dodge Charger at around 4.30 p.m. on Tuesday. That's when the sheriff's officer ran the car's plates and the owner came back as wanted. The deputy then tried to make a traffic stop, but Draylen allegedly started speeding north for about three miles. Draylen was arrested for a DUI, fleeing, and all also for outstanding warrants. Elena was not arrested and was taken to Monroe County Jail where her sister Pumpkin picked her up. We'll be sure to keep you guys updated on this, so for those updates, make sure you're following the US Sun on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. And it's not like this guy gave up and he just surrendered. The police did a pit maneuver where the cop car taps the front of the vehicle, making it spin out. And imagine she's in the car. I mean, she's like precious cargo for TLC. But of course, they're not protecting her unless they're exploiting her and trying to get some coverage. But of course, Mama June has nothing to say about this. She's like, you know what? He's not like 28, 29 years old. He's still a child. He's not going to get everything right in the beginning. So we just figure it out as we go, which seems like... Can you imagine, like, I don't know. I feel like parents of a daughter are typically more, like, a little bit more protective. Maybe that's, like, some weird stigma or something. But I'm like, I can't imagine just being okay with all of this, especially when they're being spent out by police cars. You got your driver's license? Yes. No drug history? Are you, like, trustworthy? Yes, ma'am. So what do you enjoy about, you know, being with him? I mean, he drives you everywhere, too. Yeah, yeah he, he says, that he does. I need to go. <laughs> We've been talking, like, every day, so we officially decided to make it official. In our relationship, the two most things, like, everybody is always talking about is our age gap, and definitely because, like, he's black and I'm white, and we're in a racial couple. And, like, really, I don't care because, like, at the end of the day, my sister approves, his mom approves, and we're happy. So, like, what fans got to say or what haters got to say, I don't really care. Yeah, I mean, he's good. Um, you know, he needs to hold down a job a little bit more. But, hey, that's a typical teenager also. If they last, fine. If they don't, it can be her first love. Now, this is where things get scary because In Touch confirmed that Draylen, Alana's boyfriend, Honey Boo Boo's boyfriend, was actually arrested for statutory 
R word back in May 2019, which was less than two years before he started dating her. He was accused of making a false statement to police at the time of the incident. His charge was later removed back in 2021 after he agreed to a number of conditions, including seeing an addiction specialist and undergoing and alcohol screenings. So probably not the best influence for someone who comes from a family that has issues. This person wrote in a comment that Mama June has never shown that she has any sense of morality, motherhood, right and wrong, or made a good choice for herself or her kids. The fact that she continued to see a child after her daughter was touched shows exactly what kind of mother she is. Okay, I don't, I don't know about that part, but yeah, that's, I mean, that's horrific. Then she leaves her kids behind while taking off with a fellow abuser. She wasn't in charge of Honey Boo Boo with this bad choice, though. Pumpkin and Josh were the ones that let Honey Boo Boo date this person who has already shown that he makes bad choices. Honey Boo Boo is graduating high school, but it seems like she's doomed by the family she was raised by. And it seems like this family seriously can't get a break. One of the daughters, the oldest daughter, who goes by Chickadee, her name is Anna Cardwell, was diagnosed with stage 4 cancer. Mama June said that they know what the end game is, and apparently what has brought the family together as they face one of the biggest fights we've ever had to fight in our entire life. And you know, cancer really makes me emotional because it's so scary and it steals your loved ones away from you. And I feel so bad that this family now has to deal with this. She lost all of her hair. Mm -hmm. And really, honestly, it's just been like us. We stay with her during chemo. And then Pumpkin and Alana come up like one day of the week and then Jessica comes up. But honestly, it's just been me and Justin and Alana, Alana, Pumpkin, Josh, Jessica, and Eldridge, which is Anna's boyfriend, that has honestly been there. No, none of the other family has been around, mm -hmm. um, which is sad because at the end of the day, when all this is over with, like they have to live with them decisions. So uh, we can only be there for her. So it's just been me and me, Justin, and the girls been there for Anna. That your relationship with Anna today is strong, and you're able to be there for her. Yes. Nowadays, it looks like Mama June and their family are fighting together for Chickadee, and they should be there for her. And I'm glad that, you know, this unfortunate event has some good in it, that it's bringing the family together. But there's still so much damage done here. And, you know, Honey Boo Boo is not moving in with Mama June probably ever again. And I hope that she can keep herself on the right path because the people around her they don't seem like they're doing that well. So um, it's an unfortunate story. And I hope that there is a happy ending because she's like kind of like a, you know, like a test subject in this way with like her being a child reality star. It's very new. It's different. It's not like they come from a ton of money. They're not like musicians or entertainers. So it will be interesting to see how TLC continues to exploit their life, even though it's so unfortunate and it's at their expense, but that's what TLC is made for. And I'm getting tired, guys. So I will see you in a new video soon. Bye, guys.